I'm going to do an exercise for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules focused on speed. Have you ever played in a game and someone says, hurry up? This is a really great exercise if you want to quicken your decision making. Also, it's great training if you play online because you're playing on a timer. You have between like five and eight seconds to make a decision. This is a great exercise for that. And also, if you play in a tournament because you're playing on a clock, this is a great exercise to quicken your decision making for tournament play. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know if it quickens your game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app on it. You can use any stopwatch. We're going to do five laps. S laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. And then laps two and four will be set up in between. Hopefully, I'll be able to make decisions in under two minutes. I think that's a good guideline for advanced players. If you're intermediate, maybe do three minutes, and if you're a beginner, four minutes. And then push yourself. Do what feels comfortable, but definitely push yourself. Here we go, 14 tiles. We'll just say we're the dealer. Fives, one, five, nine, five, seven, nine, five, big odds. I think big odds. Let's hold the red. Let's pass these three. I'm thinking big odds, five, seven, nine. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. Big odds. Let's do five, seven, nine, five, nine, five. Let's see. Let's pass these three. Big odds. Got a nine. We could pass these three, let's say. No keepers there. We can pass these three. Okay, we got a red dragon and we have tiles to pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. Oh my gosh, now we have to pick a hand because I'm not gonna pass that. We're on last right. I think I'd pass one blind. Three crack. I think one, five, nine. Let's see. Let's pass three for optional. Lap. Okay. So we have north six, six. I think we would play here the one, five, seven, nine concealed with dragons three away. That was a really good Charleston for this particular choice of tiles. Big odds. Five, seven, nine. If you would have done something differently, write in the comment section what you would have done. Those dragons really kind of came in, but I think breaking up the green was the way to go here. I don't remember if we had any seven bams for maybe a knitted opportunity which is the fourth hand down, but we would have had to get rid of these flowers. I want to leverage these. So five, seven, nine with dragons concealed. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, three, five, seven, three, five, seven. I don't think we're gonna be able to keep it all. We do have a north, south, green. I think three, let's see, five, six, seven. I think five, six, seven, maybe keep the green for some knitted opportunity. 
either way we can pass these and still have either little odds, maybe consecutive. Here's a five, east, south, eight. Let's go ahead and break up the three and stay consecutive with five, six, seven, eight. There's eights. So we have an eight and an eight, and we have tiles we can pass. Let's go ahead and pass these three. There's a flower, three, four. Now we pick a hand, because we only have two tiles to pass. So we have five, eight. I don't think we really need that eight crack. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's pass these three. There's a five bam and a six dot. We have one tile to pass, so now we pick a hand. We have five, six, seven, six, seven, five, five through nine, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Let's pass these three. It's a little risky. Here's a five. And we have a three north, five, six, seven, eight. Let's keep the five for potential like numbers. Oh my gosh, pair of ones. Those aren't going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and pass five, five, six, seven, eight. Let's pass these three. Lap nine, five through nine, joker bait. I think what I would probably do here is play consecutive run, five, six, seven Kongs with the flower maybe, or five through nine Kong hand. If we get white dragons, we could even play the pair hand. I would use these as joker bait and discard these first. All right, one more. If you would have done something differently here, write Sprint 2 in the comment section. Okay, I always start with my multiple, keep flowers. I usually keep dragons. Maybe we could play a year hand with these news tiles, in which case I would keep the one. If I'm keeping a one, I would probably keep consecutive for options, one, two, three, four, and that gives us tiles to pass. Kind of a process of elimination to identify those tiles to pass. There's an eight. If I'm playing the year, I want to keep year tiles. And we have tiles we can pass there. I'm thinking the year. Let's pass those three. Okay, we got a one for year, and we have tiles we can pass. There's a flower. We have tiles to pass, so now is when we pick a hand. I'm thinking if we're playing the year, maybe something consecutive. We have three flowers. I think, oh, there's news. We don't need all these flowers, though. Let's get rid of the one and one of the wins. Okay, there's 2018, and then we have a uh, four. We don't need the wins though for 2018 with flowers. Let's pass these three. There's a two and an eight, and we have two tiles to pass there. Two, eight, if we play one, two, Maybe we should switch to consecutive run 
with ones and twos. Let's give up one of the eights. We could still play a year hand. There's an eight, but that's the wrong suit. We can pass those three for optional. There we go, lap, okay. I would discard the dragon, the east, then these, and I'd probably try to play the one, two consecutive run pung hand concealed, or maybe the year hand with four flowers if we get white dragons. So I would probably keep that eight for a while, discard these first. Okay. We could also switch to twos, like numbers with twos and six flowers. So there's some flexibility here. Let's see the verdict. Sprint one. One minute 47. Sprint two. Two minutes 33 seconds. Sprint three. Two minutes 43. I need to practice. That's why I like to do these exercises. Try to get under. Let's see, I think that I was maybe 10 seconds over for, for those as an average. Let's see. No, 13 seconds under. And then 43 seconds over. Yeah, no, not good. Practice makes perfect. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps quicken your decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.